presentations. I should be starting to uh, direct chat to Augie to let Augie know which company you want to follow into the breakout room and have 15 minutes of Q&A with. Um, so go ahead and start um, Q, uh, direct chatting to Augie and let's all reset our clocks and uh, Aaron, you're, you're up. All right, wonderful. Can you see my screen? We can, thank you. All right, great. Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Houston. I'm the co-founder and CEO of WearWell where we are fixing just how frustrating it is to shop for ethically and sustainably made clothing. We are doing that with an online membership service through which you can easily discover and buy clothing that pays garment workers fairly and uses environmentally sustainable materials. Now, if you see on your screen some stuff about women's fashion, you're thinking, why am I hearing about this at PEDC? Let me share more with you about what your clothing has to do with sustainability. The fashion industry accounts for more than 10% of the world's global carbon emissions and 85% of textiles that are manufactured every single year wind up in landfill. Fashion is also the second largest consumer of the world's water supply. We know that climate change disproportionately affects developing communities, and that's usually where our clothes are made. And in many of those communities, there is an anecdote that you can tell what is going to be the most popular colors on the runways and in stores the next season by the color that you see in the river right that moment. And you can see in this image here that the river looks awfully similar to Pantone's 2018 color of the year. My co-founder Emily and I first came to understand these industry problems as well as a personal frustration around being a conscious consumer several years ago. We had both figured out how to live really impactfully in every single way we could from our careers to the ways that we shopped locally and sustainably for our food. But when it came to our clothing and accessories, it wasn't that the products that we wanted that fit our wardrobe needs, our style, as well as the impact that we wanted to make didn't exist, it was that it was simply too time consuming to be able to shop that way. And quite frankly, it was an unacceptable experience. And this is why we decided to start WearWell. So here's how WearWell works. A woman comes to our site and she completes a profile. She tells us about her personal style, her sizing, her budget, and the type of impact that she cares most about. She then chooses to sign up for a monthly membership. And as a part of that membership, she receives a selection of clothing and accessories that are curated just for her by a personal stylist. That selection is delivered to her digitally to her email where she clicks a link, opens up her online storefront for that month, chooses what it is she wants to buy and checks out. We ship her only what it is she's chosen to purchase and she shops with us again next month. Today, we are serving over 700 paying monthly members. And when they choose to make a purchase from their selection, our average order value is right around $100 and we're making over 55% gross margin on every item sold. I'm most proud of our retention rate. At 96% month to month, our retention rate is double the industry average. I wanna take a little bit of a step back again and share more about why now. Wearwell sits at the intersection of three major trends that are transforming retail and the way that people shop. The first is the demand for curated shopping experiences that were originally popularized by the likes of Stitch Fix and Trunk Club. The second is an increase in online shopping, which we've all seen the past several years, but it's been accelerated drastically due to COVID-19. And finally, the third is the rise in consumer consciousness. Now more than ever, people wanna know that they are making a positive impact when they choose to make a purchase. And in fact, there are 34 million women in the US today who identify as conscious consumers. And every single year, they spend about $2,000 on their clothing, making this total market worth $68 billion. And if you're wondering who those women are, uh, we know them very well because my co-founder and I are those women. So a little bit more on our professional backgrounds. I built and led the corporate partnerships division of a media company prior to starting WearWell. I also led their online subscription sales and have consulted for Kate Spade's on purpose division, their social impact product. Emily, our COO, she's an operator and impact expert at her core. She ran on the ground operations and impact assessments for household brand NGOs like the American Red Cross and Save the Children in major garment producing settings such as Cambodia and India prior to jumping in with Wearwell where we're based now in Philadelphia. 
One of our key advantages is, of course, our team's expertise. Conscious consumers are sticklers. They want to know that a company was built with ethics and sustainability from day one. And the two of us are able to do that, as well as command a team that has values at their core. But one of our other key advantages is the way that we work with our brand partners. We're partnered with 30 brands right now and have 200 more in our pipeline. And we've developed not only a unique way of evaluating their impact, but also how we source from them. And it's difficult for large retailers to replicate, excuse me, to replicate what we are doing. And we're building technology around that to scale. We've got big growth goals. By this time next year, we plan to be serving 5,000 paying monthly members and doing 1.5 million in annual run rate. And in order to get there, we are raising a seed round. We've got 400K of that soft committed. Uh, of the 1 million committed. Um, and we plan to spend that mostly on team to bring on our head of tech full time to be able to bring on a head of marketing as well as operational support roles. And about 30% of it will go towards customer acquisition activities. Finally, our vision for Wearwell is to build the company that is the authority on conscious living. When we think about our growth, this means expanding who it is we serve, offering inclusive sizing, serving men, expanding how we serve our customers, extending into beauty and home goods and more, and also partnering with large retailers, which sets us 